Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, everyone around the world. Welcome back to another One Piece video featuring your girl, Bello Betty. Come at you guys with a very, very spicy deck list in the form of Big Mom, let alone with Soul Pocus. This should be pretty interesting in hopes that we can get these effects to play off in the way that we want them to. But either way, before we dive into it, I do hope this video can do as well as, as our last one with Dofi. I don't expect it to do that well, considering this is Bello Betty. She's kind of a niche leader, it feels, and it seems to be that not a lot of people are running this card at locals and or in the tournament scene. And at the end of the day, people don't deem Bello Betty as a tier one leader, unfortunately. I think she's pretty darn good, but for tier ones, I think a lot of people think about Enel, Sakazuki, and probably Purple Luffy, if, if I had to guess right now. But she is still very, very solid and can beat a lot of decks in the format, be it a 50-50 or just straight up win. But either way, let's dive into this list here. So we're running the package of Soul Pocus with Big Mom, let alone with homies. And the reason being for this is the fact that Big Mom and Soul Pocus give you free life, right? Each and every turn that you play these cards, you play Big Mom on curve, you play this on curve, you get it off trigger. You're guaranteed to actually gain a life or make your opponent lose a life, which in this leader, it's very detrimental because it allows your kill window to be a lot shorter. And what that means is if for whatever reason you pull a cracker off your first trigger, right? That's already huge enough as it is because this warrants a double attack. It's almost a guaranteed double attack. If you discard a card with your leader effect, swing for 10K. That's two hits, which is massive. Now, of course, the crackback, they'll remove this, right? Let's be honest. And in whatever case that they do or they don't, you get more options to play with the big mom here and the soul pocus to gain more life or make them lose more life. If you gain more life as Bello Betty, that gives you more access to more triggers. Therefore, more chances to pull soul pocus and anything else that's threatening here out of the deck onto the field, which is very solid. Now we're opting to run Zeus and Prometheus here just because of Big Mom and the fact that the trigger on these cards are free. They also gain the effect of Bello Betty because they are triggers, right? So they do hit 6Ks. Unlike your Bello Betty one drop here, this hits 5K when boosted. So these are guaranteed to hit Whitebeard. And by adding one Dawn, your opponent has to give 3K to protect, considering them become a 7K, which is nice. Whereas investing two Dawn into this might not always be the best play, right? Because you might want to put that on somebody else, like your leader, for instance. But in any case, these give your big mom banish and double attack, which do come up very, very often in your games. On top of that, we're running the usual four crackers for Sanji, and then I'm opting to run two Charlotte Brulees just in case. And this card is also free off the trigger. And then we're playing with two Sabos and two Vivis. Vivi, at the end of the day, is a very, very solid card. And I know a lot of Bello Bettys have been experiencing, or not experiencing, have been experimenting with this card. It's very good. It allows all your red units that have three costs or higher, which a lot of your red units do, just to come into play with Rush, which is pretty solid, right? So this card will generally get removed off the board, but when it doesn't, it's because your opponent doesn't expect it. And then we're, we're topping in two Sabos. Now, this is not really, it's not my favorite card, but it's optimal for what we can run in Bello Betty, which isn't a whole lot of Revolutionary Army. So it's either taking a Sabo, Fire Fist, or Kuma, which if we are taking Kuma, Kuma does not get a lot of value, depending on what matchup you're playing against, because you do have a Nell, you got yourself your Sakazuki and Red Purple Luffy, you're not hitting a lot of cards and Red Purple Luffy with Kuma. Let's be honest. You might be hitting the Zoro Joros in the early game, but you're not hitting the big bodies with this card. You have to spend a lot of Dawn to do so, which Purple Luffy's, Red Purple Luffy's, they run cards such as Magellan, which negative or minus is your Dawn, right? At the end of the day. So you have to play like Koala into like a Fire Fist and then play Kuma to get value, or a Koala into a Sabo to get value. There's just so many things that you have to consider playing against Purple Luffy. 
to get a lot of value with these minus effects. And when it comes to Sakazuki, this card also loses a little bit of value, but it gains value because it allows you to pop Rebecca. But putting Rebecca in trash, what are you really doing? Because they can just get it back, right? I mean, let's be fair. But either way, let's dive into some games. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Now, before we dive into today's video, I do want to reach out and talk to you guys about a sponsor here in which One Piece fans reached out and wanted to know if I wanted to do a little collab. And uh, of course, I couldn't say no, because at the end of the day, we all love One Piece. And if you guys are interested in apparel, bomber jackets, hoodies, sweatpants, tanks, boxers, socks, I don't know, man, cell phone cases, backpacks, figurines, all that sort of thing. This is a very, very nice place to come and check some stuff out. And what really stood out to me, which I'm a sucker for, dude, I love figurines. No matter what, the statues, whatever you want to call it, I have so many of these from different animes. But how cute is this, man? Luffy on a pillow, which is also like a nightlight. It's so fire. You got Zoro on a four clover leaf. You got Brooke, who's on a music note, asleep, by the way, which it's so cool, man. But other than that, you have yourself your little clothing here with your sweat search, your sweatpants, your varsity bomber jackets. Yeah, bomber jackets. That's right. You got your Law, your Uta. You got Frankie, you got Wano Luffy, Zoro from Wano as well. Dude, I am so excited for this. Let alone next month, they're going to have a lot more stuff as well. So stay tuned for that. There's rugs, puzzles, nightlights, all that sort of thing here. Rugs are coming, which I'm very excited for. You got your Devil Fruits and Wanted posters. Let me show you something that's really, really unique, which I haven't really found anywhere else. I've seen Pokemon versions of Advent Calendars. We all have, let's be honest. But when it comes to One Piece, this is something I'm a sucker for. And for those of you out there that collect figurines and all that sort of thing, to be able to just open one of these individual boxes or doors each and every day to get a figurine, that's really cool. I mean, unfortunately, I can't wait. I kind of just break into it, but you know, each their own. But either way, here's some of the figurines that you can get inside the box, in which we will be doing a box opening here soon, so I can show you guys in real time as well. But I'm super excited for this. For those of you out there who are interested, there's a link down in the description below. But either way, without further ado, let's dive into some games here. See you on this one. I'm not going to lie. This is a very aggressive list, especially with the free life that you get back from Big Mom and Soul Pocus. It's pretty good, man. It allows you to... How do I say, um, your opponent generally will force you to get more life instead of them taking a life, which is cool, right? Because at the end of the day, you gaining an extra life gives you more access to triggers because, you know, you're yellow. Now, if they go the opposite direction and then they take their life away, what happens, boys and girls? Your ki kill window becomes shorter. You see what I'm saying? Because they lose their life in the early game, especially if you get a soul focus off a trigger or you play it on curve at 5 dawn. Against the Bello Betty, knowing how fast she can kill you when she gets cards off triggers it's kind of insane but this is just a list i've been working on i don't necessarily see bella betty as a tier one leader i'm pretty sure a lot of people do not she's not on the level of what sakazuki purple luffy and probably i would say anel being the best three in the format currently and you are never ever or you should never ever win against a katakuri as bella betty but, you know, he eats their own. I'm going to opt here to play Cracker. I don't think playing Karasu would be the right idea in case he has a, um, what is it, Thunderbolt? I don't want Karasu to just go right away, considering this is our only one we have in our hands. Or, or Gadetsu. I guess Gadetsu is a thing. Forget about him sometimes. Okay, never mind. We got two Karasus here. Love to see it. Let's play Big Mom here on Curve. To force him to lose a life here or give me one. Let me get one, buddy, please. Thank you. What a good guy. Like I said, I think it's sometimes it's better for them to just give you life. That way you give more opportunities to play triggers. And if they want to go the other route, like I said, it makes it so much easier for you to win the game, considering how fast Bello Betty can get to that point. And right now, he doesn't have very much removal besides Kadetsu and Thunderbolt. And then yams once she gets up to nine dawn so we should be pretty good until we get there let's play another big mom here what you want to do bud okay we'll take it six life that is huge right now we went from four to six with bella betty right here 
It's absolutely wild. So we'll attack seven. And then next turn, we'll drop both Karasus and see what he wants to do. Got a Thunderbolt off to life. So that sucks. Oh, okay. So he really doesn't like Big Mom, apparently. That's fair, bud. You got it. Yeah. Mm hmm. So he's got a Thor in hand. He left up one Dawn. I don't think it matters once we drop both of these. Like, there's just no point. And then we'll attack here again with Big Mom and my leader. Let's go six to three. Okay. Let's play this down. I guess we'll take Ivankov. Hmm. We'll play it, man. We'll play it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Come back at you again with the exact same deck list. Playing into a white beard today. Unfortunately, we have not run into a lot of Sakazukis. And I know why is that unfortunate. It's just the fact that Sakazuki is a difficult deck to deal with. And I feel, again, a lot of people and their brother want to see you win versus Sakazuki before they consider your deck to be quote unquote good. And at the end of the day, Bello Betty is not a tier one deck. She's a fun deck to play at local. She's a fun deck to win at sometimes, but it's not as consistent as Sakazuki. Do you understand what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, I've been running into a lot of Luffy's and red purple Luffy's today. So it's kind of strange and an L, I guess you would say, but I guess we'll take this hit as well. Get an Ivan, no trigger, unfortunately. It's a Frankie on board, so we know what we're playing against here. Probably Straw Hat Pirates here. Or Straw Beard, excuse me. We could play this, but let me go ahead and opt to get in an attack first and see if we get a trigger out of him. Not a trigger, but a uh, 2k. Nice, we'll take the Marco. That's fine. Let's play Lindbergh and pass turn. Because at the end of the day, instead of discarding a card from my hand to play Ivan's effect, we can just attach to Don the following turn if need be to boost him to 7, then play his ability. Ooh, a soul focus. What do? Yeah, good job, buddy. I didn't see him give me a life off soul focus there because, you know, Whitebeard loses them every single turn. So. I think we'll throw away Cracker here. So I don't actually think we're going to get off a Cracker effect versus Whitebeard. I could be wrong, but I just don't think it's going to happen, you know? Especially with this man's hand size. Do get a Sabo here as well, which is kind of irrelevant in this matchup because he plays a lot of big bodies. So we'll just force him to, disc to discard a card with Big Mom on curve. There's no shot you could be in our life. There's no way. Because he's really thinking about it. Oh, he does. All right. Love to see it. So, so far we've had six life this whole game, which is kind of nutty when you think about it. Go ahead and discard this. Give these guys a little bit of boost here and get some attacks in. It's like now is now or never, basically. I want to get this man to down to one life if possible. If he decides to block all these, that's fine too. It gives me a lot of counters out of his hand when I go for game. Another 3k. Do you have it? He does. Fast turn there. Now, unfortunately, I think these two cards will probably get, get KO'd here. He is at 7 Dawn. What does he play at 7 Dawn? Ace, maybe? I would just attach Dawn to Frankie and Marco, though, and just go for it. But playing Ace on curve is still pretty good, too, so. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, no, he did not play Ace today. Cool. No, yeah, we'll play Sanji. Get rid of Ivan. So here comes the ace. He gets the minus of Dawn on both Lindbergh and Morley, which should be easy KOs for him. But thankfully, we got a Sanji off the trigger. We can be able, we are able to protect at least one of them here, which is massive for us, by the way. Yes, I know it's a yellow deck. 
that gets good cards off trigger. What do you want me to do about it? I didn't make these cards. All right, so he'll go. No, actually, wait, wait, hold on. Quick math. We can block this and just discard what we have in hand and still have a way to get our leader effect off with Bet Betty in the next turn. And I think this will be game here. He's got four cards in hand. Big Mom gets the double attack from Prometheus. Oh, this is about to be huge. All right, we'll take the Lindbergh here. That's all we can do in this scenario. And then I guess we can discard. Let's give these guys some boosts. Unfortunately, with Prometheus, you have to tap them. You have to rest them first, so you cannot get the attack off and then activate the effect. You have to rest them to give it to Lin Lin. Which in this situation is definitely okay. We can go up to 12k. And there's no way he should have enough cards in hand to protect this. He would take this hit, right? That would be the smart play. Because I don't care about what he has on board here. We're going for game. Nice. No triggers either, which is fantastic. Unless he did get one for the second card. Because he's uh, he's taking some time. What you got, bud? Guard point. Brad beam. Okay. Bad manners. So minus 3,000 power, which he decided to hit Lindbergh with. Okay. We'll just go six. Force him to give me a 2K. That's a 1K Marco. We'll take that. We'll go six with leader here. And if he gives me, oh, he has to give me the 2K. If he doesn't, he loses the game here, but he'll also lose the game versus Sanji. Sanji's going in at 10. You have 5k in hand. We'll take those. Let's do another one. I like to think this is one of the hardest matchups for you to win as Bello Betty between Purple Luffy and Katakuri. Everything else I feel is a you have a, a decent shot at doing it. But when it comes to these two lists, just because they're able to drop the white beard, um, the white beard 9k, or yeah, nine, 9 cost, the queens, the Magellans, it's very difficult for you to get to where you need to be. The same thing with Katakuri, picking at your life, healing themselves up, dropping the 10 cost big mom. I guess there's a two list that makes it very, very difficult for you to deal with. And speaking of Magellan, here we go. But I've also come to realize that with the red, considering we aren't playing, you know, 10 cost big mom, it doesn't necessarily matter if we go down and dawn as much. It doesn't affect us as heavily, considering all of our red cards are kind of low to the ground. But it is a 7k beater, or 6k beater every single turn that we have to deal with. Here comes a queen. You just got a crack start, which is which is not fair, but it's all good. We got ourselves here a Prometheus as well and a Zeus. So this should be okay if we can get a big mom on board and do some work. Darn, I was hoping that's gonna be soul focus, unfortunate. It's a little bit difficult to get through with any attacks against this leader. And they can run up to 22 Ks and then some which I highly recommend you giving it a shot. 22k Luffy is pretty, pretty wild. But in this situation here, there's not much else I can do. I guess we can opt to play Lindbergh, which might be beneficial, but we're not going to be able to hit a lot of cards in his deck because it is purple Luffy. Well, let's go for five here. That's another downside of playing into this matchup as Bello Betty. Because some decks will run Fire Fist, and some decks will run the Kuma. So if you combo those together with Koala, you have a decent amount of cards you can pop. But it's a lot of Don you have to spend. And when you're playing against a Purple Luffy, when they just drop down Magellans on you to minus your Don costs, or Don cards, it makes things a little bit more difficult for you to remove cards. And speaking of which, here's another one. It's kind of looking grim here, I'm not going to lie to you. Because now we have to contend with three attacks each and every turn until we remove the Magellans here. We'll play Big Mom down on curve, which is pretty good. 
Okay, so we opted to take a life, which is pretty good, especially considering that was a poly. So we'll take that. I just hope he doesn't have another one in hand to remove my Karasu here. It's going seven. We'll take it. Unfortunate. Can I get one here, please? I cannot. Oh boy. He's got four done left. It's a possibility he has a law. And I kind of want to play around that, but I don't I don't know. I don't think he I don't think he has it. At least I hope not. Thankfully we got a cracker off trigger, so we don't have to worry about it now. Did you have a law? No, okay, page one. He might have, actually. And that would have sucked if he actually did and he hit it. So we're gonna have to go for game here. He's got five cards in hand, one blocker on board. We're gonna have to do some damage. Let's get Big Mom a banish here. Unfortunately, just the way our circumstances are, we'll have to attack with Karasu first. Two minus the leader before we attack with Cracker. We might not be able to get a banish off here with the Big Mom, just the way that our board state is set up. Let's go 10 here to at least guarantee this hit. In case he has yet Gatling or something. So I'll make him a 4k. And he should just be taking the smack. Like he shouldn't be thinking about it. There we go. This is another 10k in which he has to contend with. This should be a double hit, I think. I don't think he's going to give me a 7k counter. Unless he blocks here with Queen. And that's really what it comes down to here. Because if this goes through, he loses the game. Okay. Hey, look, he did have the law. Good thing we try to play around that a little bit. Let's go eight. Gives me the queen here. What do we do, man? We'll take the 2k. Hmm. Let's go into the Magellan. And then I think we'll play the Sanji down for one blocker at the very least. So let's remove the Magellans here on board. In hopes that that's not a Kaido in hand to pop the Sanji. And then we'll minus the other Magellan. That way we can remove both of them here. So he becomes a five, we can go up six. That means he needs a 2K to protect it here. But I don't see him doing that. I feel like he he would think to remove Don from me. Fair enough. Now, let's hope he doesn't have a Kaido here. Because that would be a huge problem. We just lose the game there entirely, I think. Okay, cool. Hey, man, you love to see it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that. It was a lot of fun to put this leader together. If you guys are looking for a more optimal build when it comes to including Vivi, do check out my previous Bella Betty list, which we do not run the Big Mom package here. We opt to run a Vivi package, which is very, very consistent. It's pretty fun. But at the end of the day, I do think Lin Lin and the Soul Poke is, is a lot more consistent and it's an element in which your opponent has to deal with regardless of the situation. They have to decide to lose life or give you a life. Now, I've been playing with a lot of different variants of Bello Betty. This right here is probably one of my favorites, minus a few changes, which I'll probably be removing the Sabo, the Vivi from this list because I don't want to fight for seven drops when it comes to Big Mom or Vivi on curve. And then I'll opt to probably run in Inazuma here to give myself another guaranteed rush. And then we'll go down to yellow and get some more triggers. Now, when it, when it comes to that sort of thing, I'm thinking about just doing beiges to run the list like this here and see what goes on. Beige allows you to essentially only on counterplay, right? This is the only time this card is actually good is from a trigger. Let's be fair. Other than that, I like to actually take the damage, but 
in a situation where this card comes up off a trigger and you're able to protect one of your units, it's very solid in that regard. But other than that, I'd rather actually just take the hits to my leader, if that makes sense. So that's an option there as well. And then my other option I was thinking about doing was taking out Beige here and running thousand or sorry, two million volts here, which allows you to rest blockers on your opponent's side of the field, which is really, really good. So you can actually rest your Borsalinos if need be. Or I think that's about it. Borsalinos, Rebecca's, and everything else is kind of uh, out of your reach, be it the Sabo. In any case, these would probably be some of the changes in which I'll make to the list. Other than that, though, I had a lot of fun putting this together. Like I said, it's Bello Betty. She isn't a tier one leader at most, but she's still a lot of fun. I do hope you guys enjoy it. Remember to smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe for your content when it comes to all things One Piece. And I will catch you guys in the very next video. Stay tuned for updates because I will be coming at you guys with a brand new deck list for Dofi and I'm going to show you guys something very, very cool in which we found in the community. Another creator out there who makes some amazing playmats. So don't miss out. That video is coming up next. I'll see you guys in a little bit.